my friend had a great idea to go to see what does a hundred year old happy person look like when they're two or three or four years old. Can we, by seeing the babies in Okinawa, learn something about the path that they're on that will elucidate how they become such crazy people as adults? So we went to the preschool, and the teacher said, I'm so sorry, today is the day that we spend outside of the classroom. Every couple of weeks we do that, and today we happen to be having a foot race through time. <laughs> she said, you're welcome to join us. So we followed, there's about 50 kids, and not only was about 50 kids, maybe five or six teachers. And we just walked on the street, and they stopped at a corner. This is kind of a regular residential area. And I didn't see any cars moving, because that's how rural it is. And at the other end of the block, from the finish line, I saw some of these grandmothers from the morning were converging at this finish line, maybe 15 or so grandmothers. And the race started, and it was very cute. And there was these grandmothers to help hug them and kiss them and congratulate them and clap. And if somebody was uh, their knee, they were there to help them out. And so I went to the first grandmother who hugged the kid who won the race. And I said, congratulations on having such a speedy grandchild. I just wanted to make a small talk. And she said, oh, well, that's not my grandchild. And just as I was speaking, another kid ran into her arms. And then another one. And then another one. And it was just like a, it was like a, a, a conveyor belt of hugs and kisses. And Japan is not known for public affection, even within the family. So I said, well, which one of you are related to these kids? Whose grandmother is that? And she said, she looked at me. She said, oh, my grandkids are full of you. So my grandkids are hard and working over in other cities. Um, and I said, well, what are you doing here? <laughs> And she looked at me like I was crazy. And she said, we're here because the kids are here. Isn't that just an obvious thing? Don't you do that where you come from? <laughs> now, I have amazing parents. Both my mom and dad are incredible people. My dad is a doctor. He's very busy all the time. So he came and saw me play hockey once when I was growing up. Not that he was a jerk. He just was busy. And I got it. My mom was busy. My family split up. My mom was busy uh, supporting the family. And she also couldn't come to many sporting events. Here in Okinawa, but whatever you're going to do, there's going to be somebody there to love you. I thought that was an, uh, an eye of her. One woman said, in fact, um, I don't have any grandchildren at all. My whole family was killed during World War II. She said, but my family is all my sisters right here. My grandchildren are all my kids here. And she even told me later, I wanted to see a cemetery. For some reason, we had this idea, what does a cemetery look like? At the beginning, our idea looks different. What does it be end look like? And so we were looking, and we were driving around. Uh, it's a beautiful place with these rolling hills. We thought there must be some overlook over the ocean. And we drove back to the community center. I said, where's the cemetery? And she said, oh, it's a cement wall with a little background with an ornate um, stone carving. All, when, we are, when we die, we're all cremated, and our ashes are all mixed. 